we're just all over the place today. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome back. My name is Addie of Well Loved Clothing and I am so excited because today we are going to be doing a what I wore video. It's been a minute since I've done one of these. I definitely haven't done one of these pregnant because I am now 34 weeks pregnant. So we've got a lot of bump to work with, a lot of clothes to work with. And if you've noticed, I am in a different room than I usually am because our walls are blue in here. So my closet used to be in our guest room closet. If you watched my closet clean out video from a couple of weeks ago, you are aware that I moved into our master bedroom closet, which there will be all kinds of house videos coming very soon because we did a ton of work to our house to get it to where it is now. And I would love to share that with you. But for this video, we are just going to get dressed every day this week. I'm going to share a a little bit of the process of why I'm styling certain things, a little bit like my get dressed with me segments that I do on Instagram. But I'm just going to show you everything that I'm wearing this week, a little bit of maternity styling because that's what we're dealing with these days. And then I like to show you just a little bit of wearing the outfits actually out into the wild to hopefully encourage you to wear what you want to wear, love what you love, and just be yourself because that's the most beautiful thing that you can be. So let's just jump into my closet and get dressed. So we are going to get dressed today. I think I'm going thrifting today, and so I want something really comfortable. The main thing that I'm building outfits around, especially in this stage of pregnancy, is comfy bottoms and comfortable shoes. And so I only have like five or six bottoms that I kind of rotate pretty often because I didn't want to buy any maternity pants. So I think I want to wear like a denim skirt. I have this vest that I've been dying to wear, so I'll go ahead and pull that. So this is the piece that we're starting with, and I kind of want to do that like, cool girl city feel with like the tiered skirt and sort of a nod to that buttoned vest with the boots. But I don't think that I can button this around the bump right now. So let's grab that denim skirt too. So this is what we've got right now, the skirt, that vest, and then I'm thinking of just like a simple tank top underneath it. I'm liking the yellow with this vest, but I also kind of want the vest to stand on its own. So let's just put some stuff on and see what works. Okay, I'm really liking this as a base. It has kind of a fun, funky feel, but still a little simpler. I love the tears in the skirt with this vest. And the oversized feel of the vest just feels very me, and especially the fun colors and pattern. I did try the yellow one on with it. It was just clashing a little more than I wanted, and I really want this vest to shine. So we are gonna toss on some accessories now. for today. I'm loving how simple but still really styled that it is because coming down to the basics of it, it's just a vest, a tank top, and a simple kind of denim skirt. But I love the accessories, the colors, and how it kind of has its own sort of personal style to it. So to make it more styled and more me, I tossed on this big gold chain necklace. I have a couple of other little smaller necklaces under here too. I also just did a simple hoop earring. I like that the gold just went with the gold and keeping the jewelry kind of simple made this feel a little simplified and casual. Then I did my pink little bag. I thought I brought out some of these kind of peachy orange colors in the vest and then did my little fit flop clog that kind of matches the color of the tank top so it sort of pulls the outfit down too and sort of speaks to each other on either end. Toss my hair up to just keep it out of my face and on top of all of that it is comfy for the bump, it is comfy for my feet and we are gonna go thrifting today so I will see you out on the town. morning let's get dressed really feeling some bright color today i feel like fall is slowly approaching and i just want to get a couple more like really summery outfits in so we're going to start with these amazing pants i'm not saying that i won't wear super bright colors also during the fall because wear whatever color you want to any time of year but i just want something very summery today i'm loving like the bright sunny kind of chartreuse with the orange or maybe like a soft pink let me look at more tank tops Okay, loving this little tank top. Still feels simple, but very cute, especially with the pink and orange combo. And still bumping real big today. So let's accessorize. 
Okay, so here is the final look. I'm loving how this came together. It still feels very fall transitional, but colorful and fun. So I tossed on my little hand-painted jacket that I think just brings all these fun colors together. Also did my crossbody pink bag, my pink comfy clogs, and some big pink earrings to just keep that color going and left my hair up for a kind of casual feel. So have a colorful day. You are well loved. Okay, so this is today's look. I did post this one on my Instagram for my Get Dressed With Me where I just kind of build an outfit with you in the morning. And so my whole goal for this one was to kind of have like a summery feel, still keep it a little bit fall transitional because it is supposed to be warm and I'll probably end up taking off this jacket. But I wanted those like bright, fun summer colors. And so I started with these amazing elastic laced orange pants that I'm sure you guys have seen a ton because I've been wearing them a ton during my pregnancy because they're just so comfy. And then I just added on a cute little pink peachy kind of swirl tank top that I thought looked so cute with this. I wanted to add another element of kind of pattern and something that was really statement. So I put on my painted jacket that is inspired by Grey Milk, thrift flipped by me. And then from there, the accessories were just kind of throw on everything that's pink. So I have a big pair of pink earrings. I also did my pink little bag in a crossbody way to kind of keep it casual. I also tossed on some chunky clogs, paid no attention to the giant pile of clothing that I need to hang up. But this is the look for today, and I will see you out on the town. Good morning. It is another day. We are going to get dressed, and I have been wanting to wear this one piece, so let me grab it. This amazing sheer overlay dress kind of thing. I just love it. The volume is so much fun. The color is beautiful, but I've been a little tripped up recently because I could do like the cute bike shorts, bralette, or like fitted tee, fitted thing underneath it, but I'm kind of feeling like I want like lazy day girl sort of feels. I'm planning on just going to a coffee shop, maybe having like a little date day for myself. So I want to be dressed, but not too dressed. So I love these with like graphic tees under them and high-waisted jeans, but right now I cannot do high-waisted jeans. So I'm thinking of pairing my little maternity jeans with it and maybe making it a little more casual, but the neckline of it always throws me off. So we're gonna finish with this piece, so let's build a base for it. Maternity jeans are just something else. I never thought that I would get like a actual maternity piece, but none of my jeans fit, and so these are just so dang comfy. So I'm thinking we're gonna start with this. I love the little wide leg on them. I think it'll be kind of fun to play with some volume on top and bottom with this, but I do want a more fitted top, but it's hard because of the little bump cover here. So let's just mess with some things and see what we come up with. Okay, so these are the pieces I pulled. I wanted to kind of keep with like a neutral because I really want that dress piece to pop over the top. So I'm thinking something kind of high necked, maybe a fitted tank top to do a little bit more fitted, but I realized that I just pulled a bunch of flowy stuff. I also realized I love to wear this piece with a collar poking out of it too. I just think it adds some visual interest to the top since all of this is going on. But I don't have a like short sleeved collared piece, but these are all of my like lightweight summery kind of pieces. And I love the pattern on this one. So we might start with this. Actually, we're gonna start with the tank top. I am loving this combo way more than I thought I would. I feel like the waistband kind of gives you that illusion of the high waist, but you don't really notice like the belly band <laughs> in the pants because of all of these fun layers. I feel like it also takes it to a really casual place and the fitted on top just kind of balances with all of this volume at the bottom. I do want to try this piece though just to see, but I am really liking this so we might come back to this one. Let's try this one. Okay, actually, I'm really loving this too. I thought that the longer hemline of the shirt would kind of throw me off, but there's something about the length of the shirt under this sheer piece that does that casual thing that the simple tank top crop kind of did. And I'm really loving the pattern mix. This pattern does have like some darker blues and some of the same kind of blue color in it. So I really like that it plays with some of the color, but also adds an extra element to it. It also feels kind of like bohemian fun. The only 
My only concern is that it's not super like summery and it's still a little bit hot outside, but it is a really breathable shirt. So I think I'm actually just gonna go with this one and we'll accessorize it up and just see where we end up. So this is today's look. I am absolutely loving how this turned out. I am so excited that I found a perfect little button down to pair with this. I do kind of wish that I was wearing shorts right now, but I don't have really any shorts that would look good under this slash are comfortable enough to wear right now. So this is what we're going for. It is a little bit cooler outside than it has been. And it's not like super hot. Really when you get down to it, it's just like a button down and jeans. But I love that we kind of summarized it a little bit with some fun orange in the bag, some fun platform sandals, and just did a hair up kind of look to keep it casual. And I am just loving how this all came together. It is so very cute and so very fun. So this is today's look and I'm headed out to the coffee shop and I will see you out on the town. Good morning. Today I am running way behind on what I need to do. And I'm kind of having one of those like casual, no makeup, don't really want to do my hair sort of days. And if no one's told you before, you're allowed to not wear makeup and not do your hair whenever you want to. So I think that I'm just gonna go sort of casual. I feel like a jumpsuit and I just thrifted this jumpsuit a couple of days ago. It's just this perfect Jersey cotton, really flowy, really comfy jumpsuit. And it has plenty of space for the bump. And so we are gonna start here and probably do some kind of chill accessory. So let's toss this on. See, just so easy and comfy and feels like a jeans and t-shirt sort of outfit, but elevated it, since it's this one piece. But I think I'm just gonna keep it pretty casual, probably do a baseball cap because I'm not doing the hair today. And maybe just like simple gold accessories and a platform sandal just to be comfy. Cause I'm running to Hobby Lobby to get some stuff. I'm going to pick up some baked goods for our coffee shop and just, a bunch of random things today, a bunch of things for a story sale. So let's accessorize. today's look it's just very simple very casual but I still feel really put together and cute just to run some errands and do some stuff around the house started with this amazing comfy jumpsuit I just thrifted and I did want to wear my Las Vegas tan hat because I just like the fit of that better but I did have to steal my husband's hat because I don't know where that hat is right now but went with my little Ugg platform sandals just to keep comfy but I also love that the sagey kind of green goes with this evergreen color then just toss on a big comfy tote and then just did a little hoop earring just to add some jewelry some interest and have my regular necklace on so this is just my easy go-to formula for running late or when I really don't want to get dressed so this is the look for today and I will see you out on the town morning this morning was my get dressed with me over on Instagram and so I'm gonna just talk you through the outfit that I already have on so this is today's look I just love this it feels so girly and fun and simple and there's something kind of childlike about it too with the layering and just the hair scarf something about it just feels really fun. So it started wanting to wear this amazing green set. It is actually a skirt and a little crop top, but I'm kind of piling it up here as a little dress because the smocked waist is super comfy on the bump and wearing it as two separates was kind of like really summery. And even though it is still hot here, I feel like I wanted something that was just a little more fall. And so I did layer it with this lightweight, beautiful little button down that you guys have probably seen a ton. I put this under and over almost everything in my closet. 
it. But I love the scoop detail on the neck and the longer kind of puppy sleeve. I feel like it lends itself well to this silhouette and just adds more volume up here since there's so much volume on the bottom of this skirt. So from there, I was kind of feeling a little bit of like a Disney princess vibe. And so I wanted to keep it kind of girly and flirty. And so I did a little hair scarf back here in this beautiful mint green with these florals all over it. And then I wanted to keep it less costumey, less Disney feeling. So I just went with this simple gold earring and just kept my hair in that little pretty bun. But to add some more color, I did my little woven orange bag because I'm a big fan of green and orange together. And I think it's really fun to just add some more pops and take your outfit to a different level with your accessories. And then I just put on my little chunky clogs that I think are the perfect addition to this outfit because they make it a little casual, but still kind of fun and chunky and pull that volume that's all up here and right here down to the bottom. So this is my look for today. I am going to be putting some inventory into my store. I'm going to be getting a story sale ready that by the time this video is posted has probably already been on my Instagram. But this is just another look and day in the life. So I'll see you around my house and town. morning another day another outfit so today I don't really know what I have going on I don't think I have much going on but it is Peter's day off and so we are probably gonna go to a coffee shop maybe hang out and so I have a little bit of an outfit idea because I found a top in my other closet that I had just kind of forgotten about, but it's one of my favorite tops. And so I think I'm going to style that up today. So let's grab that. It's just this beautiful chocolate brown stod tank top. And I love the ruching details. I'm not usually a peplum gal, but for some reason in this fabric with this color, I just think it's really fun. And I usually layer this over long sleeves, but today it's a little bit warmer. And so I'm thinking of like pants and this kind of thing, but I want to punch up the color a little cause it's still kind of summery, but not super summery so we're doing like a fall transition outfit so maybe my orange pants those would be really comfy let's grab those these kind of have a similar vibe going on they're a very similar like lightweight sort of cottony fabric but they have that smocking detail at the top of the pants and through the bust of the shirt so we're gonna put this on super cute together. I love the kind of voluminous bottom with this peplum top and the colors are just so great together with that kind of fall feel but the bright orange still. So this is going to be our base. I don't think I want to go too crazy but I might add a scarf to just throw in some pattern. So let's grab a scarf. I'm still feeling very fall color palette I guess. I think I'm going to go with this one because I love how it pulls the orange out and I think I'm just going to do like headscarf sort of vibes so let's put that on. Okay, loving the headscarf with it. I feel like it really just adds what this outfit kind of needed. And I like that the whole feel of the top and the scarf is a little bit like Hobbit kind of winchy. So I think we're going to accessorize it now and make it a little funky, a little cute. Let's accessorize. So here is today's look. I am loving how this came together. Just the colors, the oversized kind of silhouette, but it's still sort of flattering with this like fitted piece through here. And it just feels like a little different than what I have been wearing recently, which is always really inspiring and fun. And of course the headscarf just makes the whole look. So it started wanting to wear this stod top that I got hand me down from my mom. And then these amazing like wide leg kind of culotte trousers that I love the balance of this peplum going going like smaller to wide and keeping the bottom wide. I just think it is such a fun silhouette and it's one of my favorite kind of silhouettes. That's why I love a wide leg bottom because I really like the weight being on the bottom, but I also think it's just a little unexpected, just slightly out of the ordinary. And so I kept that kind of chunky thing going with my little chunky clogs from Fit Flop that I thrifted forever ago. And you have seen these so many times, especially in pregnancy because they are 
so comfortable and squishy. So I love the little pinky kind of neutral taupe messing with this brown color. And there's also just a little bit of some like lighter pink taupe flex in the scarf. This scarf is actually one that I thrifted in Paris when I went with my sister back in February. And so it's just absolutely beautiful. And I love the colors and how it brings in some of that brown and orange. So from there, I just wanted to add some more brown, more natural tones with a little brown wooden earring. And then I did my little woven bag. I'm thinking I might change to my pink bag though. I just think it might add like a different pop and I love bringing in some of the pink from the shoe also. So this is today's very comfy, still kind of quirky, fun look. So I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, let's get dressed today. I am starting to get a little bit bored with the pieces that I have because I only have so many pieces that fit and I don't want to buy a ton of like pregnancy wear, but I still feel like I can get a lot of wear out of a lot of things, especially since it's getting a little cooler so I can do some more layering and some more kind of different pieces together. But I was starting to get bored, so I went looking in my store inventory that I have here in a closet in my garage, and those are just pieces that I either haven't put on my website yet, haven't tagged and put in my physical location yet. And so I found a couple of pieces that I am super excited to style, so we are going to style up one of those pieces today, so I will grab that. So it's this amazing lavender button-down dress. It is missing a couple of buttons, but my idea for today is to do like sweater vest kind of feels with this but I just love the color it's super lightweight it's kind of like a linen-y actually let's see what it is I don't know what it is but I know that it fits the bump because I tried it on so let's toss this dress on okay I just love this it's flowy and easy and I feel like right now all I want to wear is either really flowy stuff or like bike shorts and t-shirts it's just the point that we're at and so this is hitting all of those flowy marks that I want but I do want to do some layering because it is kind of fully outside and I feel like this lavender could read really summery so let's find a sweater vest okay I pulled a couple different ones I think this one's gonna be too warm it just has that turtleneck and I kind of want to mess with the like collar look so I think I'm gonna go with a little more of like chunky Scandinavian kind of vibes and I like the neutral paired with the purple because then the purple can really shine so let's try this one on because I think I'm gonna end up here so let's try this oh I don't know that's pretty cute yeah, that's actually, I kind of want to like belt it with the vest over it, but I don't know. That's pretty cute. It's got those kind of grandpa vibes. I could see this with chunky sneakers, but I think I'm going to do the other one because that was my original kind of vision for this. I just don't know anymore. Now I like the other one better. This one feels still really bright, so I kind of want to add some fall tones to it. I'm just gonna pick one. Okay, so we're landing on this one for now. I might still change it because I like the idea of the sweater vest with like socks and loafers kind of look. So let's find some socks and loafers and see if the other vest works better or what. We're just all over the place today. <laughs> okay, now I can't decide which loafers. So this is just becoming a lot. <laughs> I like these with this. So these were my intended loafer for this outfit and then maybe like a tan bag to kind of go with it. I think I'm gonna wear the other vest. I just am not feeling this right now. Okay, I went ahead and just put on some socks and loafers because it took me way too long to figure out what combo I wanted to wear, but I went with the little floral sock and the tan loafer because I just liked the color combo. And I really like that this is this like oversized Scandinavian feel. So we're going to finish accessorizing and then I'll show you the whole look. <laughs> Okay, so here is the final 
final look, I really love the whole vibe of this outfit. It feels so casual and easy, but I love that it's this amazing oversized button down lavender dress. I think the lavender just takes it to such a fun place. And I love that it's different than what I've been wearing recently, but it's also very much kind of the style that I'm leaning into recently too. I've been loving like the Scandinavian, the weird layers, the like kind of oversized and slightly frumpy, but in like a chic way. So I'm loving how this one turned out. It started with the purple dress. It went back and forth on the vest, but I did go with this one essentially because it's also a little bit cooler and I've been over heating like crazy recently but also it's a warmer day outside so I like just the simple kind of layer and not having everything like buttoned up at my neck and I did my little floral socks and my tan loafers that have a little bit of gold in them and so they feel like they kind of dress the outfit up instead of just doing like a Birkenstock or some kind of thing, which would also be super cute with this. And note to self, I need to buy some tan socks because I would have really loved to do tan socks and maybe a different loafer, but I felt like this kind of just went together better. So to tie in some of that tan from the shoe, I did my little tan bag and I left it crossbody, tossed my hair into just a little low easy bun and just did some gold hoops. And so we're just having casual kind of coffee shop day, doing some editing, running some errands. So this is my look for today and this can concludes our week of what I wore. So that's seven outfits, one for every day of the week. Hopefully this just inspires you to wear what you love and wear it with confidence because the most beautiful thing that you can wear is something that makes you feel like you and expresses who you are. So I will see you later. You are well loved. Bye. Bye.